Today, we will learn some terms in computer networking. However, our session is very short. So, I name it as 2 minutes note. It will give you a clear idea on the topic. This is what we learned today. Digital signature, firewalls, DNS, SMTP, FTP, HTTP, WWW and Bluetooth. Now, digital signature. A digital signature is a mathematical scheme for demonstrating the authenticity of a digital message or documents. A valid digital signature gives a recipient reason to believe that the message was treated by a known sender, that the sender cannot deny having sent the message, authentication and non deposition and that the message was not altered in transit, that is integrity. Digital signatures are a standard element of most cryptographic protocol suits and are commonly used for software distribution, financial transactions, contract management software and in other cases where it is important to detect forgery or tampering. Creation of digital signature. A digital signature scheme typically consists of three algorithms, hashing algorithm, signature generation algorithm and signature verifying algorithm. That given a message, public key and a signature either accepts or rejects the message claim to authenticity. Schematic representation of digital signature. As you can see in the left side, the signing process is done, and in the right side, the verification procedure. Now, firewalls. In computing, a firewall is a network security system that monitors and controls the incoming and outgoing network traffic based on predetermined security rules. Firewalls are often categorized as network firewall and host based firewall. Network firewalls are a software application running on general purpose hardware or hardware based firewall computer appliances that filter traffic between two or more networks. Host based firewall provides a layer of software on one host that controls network traffic in and out of the single machine. Proxies A proxy server may act as a firewall by responding to input packet in the manner of an application while blocking other packets. The proxy server is a gateway from one network to another for a specific network application in the sense that it functions as a proxy on behalf of the network user. What can a firewall do? Focus for security decision can enforce security policy, limits your exposure, can log internet activity efficiently. What can't a firewall do? Can't protect you against man malicious insiders. Can't protect you against completely new threats. Can't protect against virus. Then our topic is DNS. The domain name system is a hierarchical decentralized naming system for computers, services or any resource connected to the internet or a private network. It associates various information with domain names assigned to each of the participating entities. Most prominently, it translates more readily memorized domain name to the numerical IP address needed for the purpose of locating and identifying computer service and device with the underlying network protocol. By providing a worldwide distributed directory service, the domain name system is an essential component of the functionality of the internet. 
The domain name system delegates the responsibility of assigning domain names and mapping those names to internet resources by designating authoritative name server for each domain. Now our topic is SMTP. By the name it means simple mail transfer protocol is an internet standard for electronic mail transmission. When an email is sent from the sender to receiver, in most cases this involves the sender machine sends the email to local SMTP server, which in then send mail to recipient local SMTP server and finally to recipient local machine. From the picture it is clear a user as in helps the entire process of SMTP. SMTP also allows the user of relay allowing other MTA to relay the mail. Mail gateway are used to relay mail prepared by protocol other than SMTP and convert it to SMTP. Here is an email format I present. The yellow color is as you already know to the conventional mail. It contains the sender address, receiver address and other information. And in message birth, the mail header and the mail body. FTP. The file transfer protocol is a standard network protocol used to transfer computer files between a client and server on a computer network. FTP is built on a client server model architecture and use separate control and data connection between the client and the server. Users may authenticate themselves with a clear text sign-in protocol normally in the form of a username and password but can connect anonymously if the server is configured to allow it. FTP is often secure with SSL FTPS. The first FTP client app application where command line programs developed before operating system had graphical user interface and us still sit with most Windows, Unix and Linux operating systems. HTTP The hypertext transfer protocol which you have seen in your Internet Explorer or any browser where you type the address it automatically comes before the URL is an app application protocol for distributed collaborative hypermedia information system. HTTP functions as a request response protocol in the client server computing model. For example, a web browser may be the client and an application running on a computer hosting a website may be the server. The server which provides resources such as HTML files and other content or performs other function on behalf of the client returns a re response message to the client. The response contains completion status information about the request and may also contain requested content in its message body. HTTPS that is HTTP over TLS transport layer security or HTTP over SSL is of two variation of HTTP www as all of you know the world wide web or simply web is an information space where document and other web resources are identified by URLs interlinked by hypertext link and can be accessed via the internet Bluetooth Bluetooth is a wireless technology standard for exchanging data over a short distance from fixed and mobile device and building personal area network. Bluetooth is a 
package this protocol with master slave structure a master bluetooth device can communicate with a maximum of seven devices in a pico net and an ad hoc computer network using bluetooth technology the bluetooth code specification provides for the connection of two or more pico nets to form a scatter net where certain devices simultaneously play the master role in one pico net and the slave role in, in another Thank you.